It's maple syrup season. Yeah, collecting sap and making syrup has been a lifelong hobby for a Shawano County man. Angela Kelly joins us uh, live to tell us more about it. Hi, Angela. Hey guys, good morning. Well, about a quarter of a mile uh, down this trail through this farm field into the woods is where Lowell Thompson has been uh, tapping maple trees for more than 60 years. Uh, he's got a whole operation back there, a sugar shack and everything. And uh, Lowell, why don't you tell us how the weather plays a role in harvesting sap? Oh, well, the weather plays a big role. Uh, you have to have cold nights, freezing, below freezing, it has to be warm during the day or the sap doesn't run. So tell us then, with the weather that we've had this year, how, how it affected you. Well, it was very different this year because it was so warm, such a warm winter. And uh, this is about the time we'd really be starting to tap trees. And now, now we're almost done. Yeah. And so um, what we were able to do is go back in the woods with Lowell and uh, he took us into his sugar shack uh, to show us how he um, evaporates that sap to make syrup. So take a look. All right, Lowell is explaining how the sap that he collects from all the trees, uh, it gets made into this pure maple syrup. So Lowell, explain what we've got going on in your sugar shack in here. <laughs> well, this is the first pan that I put it in. Uh, it runs in here slowly. This pan will hold about 120 gallons if I filled it up. Of sap. Of sap. Okay, so once you collect all that sap from the trees, you're dumping it in here, mm -hmm. and is it just evaporating? Uh, well, I got a fire under there. Yes, yeah, so all it does is evaporate. Okay. And then I, I usually have both of these pans going, and then I put it from this pan into this one, so it's a little smaller. Mm -hmm. And does it just cook even further? It cooks down further. How long is the cooking process? Well, a couple days, usually. Couple days, wow. And, and then, then when it gets, I put it in my finishing pan over there for the last, when I bring, bring it right down to syrup. And that's eventually where it becomes this, this yeah. sweet, wonderful syrup. And uh, do you actually, you know, bottle it and everything on your own? I, yeah, well, I do it at home. I take it home and mm -hmm. can it, strain it and can it. Now, if I understand correctly, it takes uh, how much sap to make well, syrup? I mean, a lot. Between 30 to 40 gallons of sap make one gallon of syrup. And you've made how many gallons of syrup? I made about 45 this year so far. It's incredible. I still have this to go. So. You got a lot of, you got a little help from your family? Uh, yes, it's my daughters and uh, my sister comes out and helps me. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a, a family affair out here and a family tradition, mm -hmm. which we'll be learning more about throughout the morning. Thanks so much, Lowell. Okay. Yes, that family tradition. Uh, more than 60 years, uh, Lowell's been uh, tapping maple trees uh, since he was a boy with his dad. So Lowell, what do you say now that it's light out, you and I head back in there and uh, give our viewers a, another look at some of the trees that you tap, maybe the sugar shack? Okay, now we can see something. Yeah, it's light out. <laughs> exactly. All right, you guys, I'll toss it back to you. Thanks, Ann. Thanks, Angie.